What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mike Valley, and I'm back with another reaction video, man. This is Cheaters. I know it's a lot of you guys like these type of videos when I react to them, because I'm giving my honest, constructive criticism, bro. Like, why be with the person if you're going to cheat anyway? So I know that you guys like the game I give in these type of videos. But anyway, this is Cheaters, full episode, Shalice Ryan. Let's get it. From Cheaters surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual True stories filmed live documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. We see them get into the back of the vehicle, Shaylee's, and that's when we see them exchange, and I would say a lot more than a kiss. So this is what you're doing when you're... No, no, no. This is what you're doing when you're talking to me on it? Bro, you're talking to me and later. You recognize her? Uh, yeah, that's Queen. Supposed to be my friend. Okay, they followed Michael to the strip club. Oh what y'all in here doing? Whoa. Uh, this what y'all in here doing? Whoa. Whoa. This what y'all in here doing? Real reality television has brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Greetings, and welcome back to the bitter taste of relationship reality on Cheaters. Our first case concerns Shaylise O'Brien a medical assistant distressed about recent actions of her boyfriend. Damn, yeah, man. Shaylise approaches cheaters for her own badly needed assistance. I've been dating Rod for about a year. Um, we met at a church event. Um, I was there one day with my family and saw him with his family. Kind of talked for a little bit. He kind of hit on me. Um, we've been talking for a while, for about a year now. We live kind of far from each other. He's in Dallas, I'm in Fort Worth, but um, he go see me every once in a while, and I go see him every once in a while, kind of just drive back and forth. What oh, I hell no. Rod was I couldn't do no long distance relationship, say, bro. We kind of connected on certain levels, um, family wise. We joke all the time. I love a guy that makes me laugh, and he can make me laugh a lot, but um, he's just very sweet. I mean, he complimented me all the time, made me feel special. Um, I mean, he's somebody I could see myself in the future with. Rod, age 24, a lumber handler suspected of putting his wood into someone else's kiln car. <laughs> they pretty clever Brief for that. By Shaylise on the suspect's routine, Cheaters begins the investigation at the suspect's residence. Sometime later, detectives spy suspect Rod as he leaves his abode. A cheater's mobile team follows the young lumber handler through town. Rod arrives at a gas station. The suspect pulls his car into an empty slot next to an SUV. An unknown female exits the vehicle. Rod greets the woman with a familiar hug. The suspect and his companion step to the building. Distance has never been an issue before. Um, here lately, I have noticed a difference. Dude, um, I'm going to tell you something. Kind of Look, it may start off as, yo, distance ain't a problem. Like, you come see me, I come see you, right? But everybody knows, like, there's 90% of people that don't do that for this particular reason. And then, like, there's a small percentage of people whose relationships actually work that I know personally whose relationships actually work long distance and then as they got older and started you know uh their relationships started progressing even more now they actually live together so you see what i'm saying like you, you do have those people that 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 very small percentage of people who are able to overcome that long distance relationship but then you got the majority who don't even want to bother with a long distance relationship because they already know what comes with that which is this type of stuff right here so what, what, well, basically what I'm saying is he he was probably okay with the fact that you guys were long distance dating for in the beginning. And then over the course of time, he got tired of sitting up here damn near traveling to a whole nother city and state just to go and see you. Sometimes he, he probably just wanted it like right around the corner, down the street, down the block, or a few miles away from where he lived. You know what I mean? So I'm not, I'm not making no excuses for old dude, but I'm just saying that's probably you know, but at the same time, you knew what you was getting into when you dated this woman, like that she lived long distance. I'm pretty sure she told you that when you guys first started, you know, 
boys it's all getting, getting didn't to know want to come over as much. Um, him coming over to my place, and I, I just I can sense that there's something not normal about our relationship now. Um, he kind of avoids talking to me about a lot of things. He's really short with me. Um, when I do see him, everything is, he's either in another world or he's quick to be on his phone. Um, I can be having a conversation with him for hours and he's not saying anything or he'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, what'd you say? Can you repeat that? And it gets me very upset a lot because I'm, I find myself repeating everything I'm saying, asking him, well, where's your head at? And no response. And I could be trying to figure out what we're going to do and he has no response. And there's times we can go weeks without seeing each other and we used to see each other three or four times a week and now what I'm lucky if I see three or four times a week and both of y'all live in two different cities and states oh i couldn't do it hell i'm thinking they was just seeing each other once every couple weeks or something or once every week but not no three or four times oh, hell. at all during the week. after I some time rod and his unknown consort emerge into the daylight they converse by the vehicles, laughing and chatting. At some point, the questionable couple decide to say goodbye. The mysterious woman hugs the suspect. She returns to her vehicle. Rod climbs into his car. They both leave, ending this day of surveillance. You lose sleep over when you're constantly thinking about somebody all day, wondering what they're doing. You can't focus, you can't concentrate. There's nothing that man can tell me that can justify the fact that he's cheating on me. I need to know why he decided to do it and the fact of, I just need answers. I just need answers because there, I mean, there's no excuse he can give me to pretty much say why. I just need to figure out who you she just, is, where she came from. It don't matter. See, look, I'm going to tell you all right. Some females that I know, like they've been in some messed up relationships. Right. So saying that to say, usually in situations like this, you as a woman shouldn't care what the other woman has. Like you basically trying to figure out how can you compete with this other woman? That's what I don't understand. What, what, what are you trying to figure out about this other woman for? It's not like that's going to like you trying to figure out how you can measure up to her as to because you figure, oh, well, if he cheated on me with this type of woman, this is what I need to have or what I need to get in order for him to come back to me. No, if he's gone, he's gone. Leave it at that. I mean, I, mean, I know you want answers. Everybody want answers. But the whole reality of it is there's no excuse to cheat. It really ain't. And like I say, long distance can be a reason as to why you did what you did. But you knew what you was getting into the moment you and this girl, you and Shalise started talking. So I I can't really argue on his behalf and say that, yeah, he cheated because he, they're long distance. But you yourself as the guy knew, you know, that you guys, both of y'all knew that y'all was long distance. So it's not like, you know, that you didn't know. If you knew what you are getting yourself into. Why he's been wasting my time all this time. Cheaters continues to stake out the suspect's residence. Sometime later, the suspect leaves home. Unaware of the inspectors on his tail, Rod drives through town to a local Mexican fast food restaurant. After parking, he meets the woman seen previously, now identified only as Misty. They greet each other with a hug. Rod escorts his companion into the restaurant. A short while later, the suspect brings his date the meal. Sometime later, with their repast finished, the illicit couple ambles back to their respective vehicles. At the suspect's car, they embrace and provide insight to cheaters on what the suspect does when not around Shaylee's. After smooching a bit, Misty walks to her ride. Rod gets into his own car. The two part ways and end the night surveillance. Continuing the scrutiny of the suspect's home, Cheater's gumshoes stick to the stakeout. After some time, Rod makes his appearance. The suspect leaves home. Cheater's follows. The suspect drives to a... <laughs> you guys, as these so-called suspects, you guys don't ever recognize a vehicle following you? 
This is how I know 90% of the world is completely unaware of who's following them home, etc. I'm on me personally. I don't care who it. I don't care if it's a motorcycle. I don't care if it's a taxi. I don't care if it's an Uber, Lyft. I don't care about none of that. I'm always looking in my rear view. I'm always in my mirror. Not because I'm afraid of being, well, well, I guess you could say I've been pulled over quite a few times to where it's like, ah, it's a natural thing for me to look in my mirror, but also because of just being aware, bro. Just being aware of your surroundings, that's all. Just like if somebody pull up to you next to you at the stoplight, you're naturally going to look at the car. Strip Mall Shopping Center. Rod meets up with the not-so-mysterious Misty. He greets her with a salacious hug. The suspect escorts his paramour into a store. Sometime later, the troubling twosome exits the store. Rod walks Misty to his car. Investigators expect the couple to drive away and are surprised when the pair clambers into the back seat now of the vehicle. Now back Footage shot by cheaters presents a steamy picture of the antics of the suspect and his libertine lady. Sometime later, with their business finished, Misty debarks the car. With their business finished, a. Hey. <laughs> Normally, people who do stuff like that in the in the back seat of the car or whatever, or even in the front seat, it don't matter. Normally, they got tinted windows, but how you got you been? They bold for doing that and got no tints, or bold in doing that in front of like a public parking lot. Like there's no isolation between you and everybody else. It's just y'all and you know what I'm saying. I'm like, how y'all bold as hell for that? Places a phone call to a very concerned Shaylise. Coming up, the confrontation. Now that Shaylise's deep-seated anxieties have borne fruit, Cheaters contacts the apprehensive young lady. Fearful of the potentially frightening news and yet desiring to know the facts, Shaylise agrees to meet. Shaylise, uh, the first thing I'd like to say is, you know, thank you for being here today. As you know, we have come up with some pretty interesting findings. Are you prepared to see what's been going on with Rod and the reason why you're here? I'm ready. All right. Shaylise, we begin our investigation outside of Rod's home. Recognize the house, the yeah, vehicle? Yes. We see him come out, white t-shirt, brown pants, gets into his vehicle, and he drives away. As our detectives follow Rod, that's when we see him arrive at a gas station, parks the vehicle next to that silver SUV. So we see Rod get out, and we see this female emerge out of the SUV. They exchange a hug. I'm going to stop it right there. Have you ever seen her before? No, I Never. Haven't. Don't recognize the car or the woman? No. Okay. They walk into the gas station together, and after a while, they come outside with some drinks. We see them conversing by their vehicles, being very playful. You don't recognize her face? Mm -mm. Never seen her in your life? Mm. We see her putting her arms around Rod, being very flirtatious. And moments later, she gets in her vehicle and she drives away. Rod then does the same, and he returns home for the evening. On this day of our investigation, Shalise, we are outside of Rod's home. He emerges, white t-shirt, pants, gets into his blue vehicle and leaves. As our detectives follow Rod, he arrives at a restaurant parks his vehicle, and he meets that same female from the previous surveillance. They walk into the restaurant together, and they share a meal. When they're sitting in this restaurant and they're eating together, he actually receives a phone call, and that phone call's from you. What you're about to hear is audio from that phone call. Tell me if you remember this conversation. After finishing up that phone call with you, I see he's very nervous. And as you told me, he's being very, very quick to get off the phone with you. So we both know that he's he's doing something wrong. After that phone call with you, they finish up in the restaurant, go out to the vehicle, exchange a kiss, multiple kisses. Continuing on our investigation, our detectives are outside of Rod's home. We see Rod emerge, 
He gets into the vehicle and he drives away. As our detectives follow Rod, he arrives at a shopping center. He parks next to that silver SUV and is greeted by that same female. They hug and they walk into a store. He opens the door for her and a short time later, they emerge holding some items in a bag. We see them get into the back of the vehicle, Shaylee's, and that's when we see them exchange, and I would say a lot more than a kiss. Her feet go up on the actual windows. They're having sex. With no tints. <laughs> what goes through your mind when you see this? A man of I faith? Even, I don't even know what to say. Like, yeah, a man of faith is it's just a lie. It's, he's a liar. I'm ready. And she say they met at a, some sort of church gathering. That tell me right there, he supposed to be a church man. But that just at the same time, you know, for all my Christian people out there, man, do not strike me down for saying this. But I'm just saying, bro, some of the people that be going to church or a lot of the people that be going to church, you know, uh, like right here, I got to be really careful about what I say. So, you know, but. It's like a lot of people who go to church sin every single day. And the one day they, you know, get the Holy Ghost is on a Sunday. But the rest of the week they sit up here sinning, uh, committing adultery, all type of stuff, bro. Y'all y'all know what I'm talking about, man. I shouldn't even have to tell y'all, but y'all know. This is crazy, man. You're going to see this, man. Listen, I'm sorry that this happened, okay? I'm re listen, I'm really, really, really sorry, all right? Mm -hmm. But I promise you, I swear to you that we will not stop until we get you the truth and ultimately a resolution of this, all right? Okay. I know this is hard, okay? But I promise you after this, you'll feel so much better. I'm gonna call Detective Gomez when we get on the road. We know where they're at. Are you ready to go confront them? I'm ready. All right, right this way. Gomez. Okay. You got them at a grocery store together inside. All right, we'll stage under the Duncanville sign, and we will wait for your confirmation, but I will see you there. Thanks, Gomez. All right. Okay, so that was our detective. They are actually inside of a grocery store together, grocery shopping. What we're going to do is, is we're going to park, we're going to stage right outside in the parking lot, wait for our detective, and we are going to confront them as they come out. Okay, they're in the checkout line. Let's go ahead and pull up to the exit. There's going to be a separate one. Uh, entrance is on the left, exit's on the right. Are you ready? All right. Let's get everybody out. Cheetah's reason why we're here is because you were obviously caught cheating on her with him. Can I talk to you for a minute? Can I talk to you for a minute? What's your name? Hi, I'm Clark Gable with the show. The only reason why I'm here is because this gentleman, Rod's actually been with this, uh, this woman for about a year and a half. Were you aware of that? You had no idea? No idea? Coming up, the conclusion. She's like, she ain't trying to hear that. She... got them at a grocery store together inside. So this is what you're doing when you're... No, no, no. This is what you're doing when you're talking to me on it? This gentleman, Rod's actually been with this woman for about a year and a half. What is this? You're sitting there talking to me all day? This is what you're doing? You know what? No. What was that? No. Fine, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody else you know, right? Man, right? Hey, it's this is crazy. what you're doing all day when you're talking to me, but you can't come see me. And I'll leave people out here. Yeah. What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, this is your eggs? This is your eggs? You don't even know about she shot. She had no idea. You didn't tell you? You got baby food? Like, come on. Like, Bushy. 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 What is Rod, what happened, man? Who is you? No, no, no. Don't worry about it. Rod, how come you're buying baby food? What's going on? They really ain't none of your business. Who is this? Can we, talk about him? Him? No. can we talk we away from the camera? No. We can talk right now. We can talk right now. No. 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 He don't have a baby by this other girl. I just hope that he don't. I hope that he don't. I hope that's her baby that she have 
by another dude that she not with no more. I hope it ain't him. Can you tell me exactly how you guys I want met? Answers right now. You met at a party? Did he tell you uh did he tell you that he was with yeah. this other girl? He said he was single. He said he was single? Girlfriend. Really? Does she know about me? Does she know how long we've been together? He didn't say anything. Does she know how long we've been together? How long we've been talking? Did you tell her all that? I've been talking. We're talking about a year, honey. Is this is this you guys in the car having sex? <laughs> you so, hey, you got a, hey, you got innocent bystanders, people that's going in the grocery store, people that's coming out of the grocery store. They see they t-shirts say cheaters on it. They they video record everything. Is that you? They got the whole parking lot lit, and they ain't got nothing to do with it. Hey. <laughs> Tell the yeah. truth, man. I just want answers. I don't want and I'm done. Y'all met at a church at a family church gathering. Right. A year and a half ago. I mean, I really didn't lie, just and said a whole Look at her in the look at her in the yellow shirt. She like, oh wow. Like, like exactly, bro, because you figure anybody who goes to church, you're supposed to be a man of God, you're supposed to be a man of your word. You ain't supposed to be out here lying, cheating, none of that. And a lot of you people that be going to church, y'all be doing it. So y'all really shouldn't be going to church. Why did you cheat on her, man? It's a big distance, bro. We got a big distance in our relationship. There's not really much distance right now, so why don't you tell her what's going on? Put it this way. What if I walked out here with you and you caught her with another man? What would you do? Would you be pissed? You'd be wanting to fight him. Exactly. Exactly. We can see that. We can see that. You pretty. You laugh it like a joke. You're right, it's not. It's not. The only joke is you two. The only joke is you two, right now. Do you have anything to say at all, man? Do you feel any remorse? I am sorry. I apologize you are sorry. that you had to find you out. Are. You are. That you didn't have to go you are sorry. You right. You are yeah, she did. See, this is what I don't like, bro. I don't like when it ain't just men. It's women, too. Um, I really don't like how when they get caught by cheaters and all these detectives and everybody out there causing the scene or whatever... They say, oh, you didn't have to do all that. You didn't have to do all this to find out the truth. Yeah, I did. Because clearly you were not a boss to tell me yourself that you was cheating or that you had another man or that the dude had another woman. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, sometimes you have to go to these extreme levels to find out the truth. And, yeah, it is a shame. It, ain't, it is messed up that I have to do that because you don't have the audacity and the respect for me to tell me the truth in the very beginning. Bro, this is crazy, man. You got that right. You know, I'm sorry. One answer right. You what do you think that about right? this? How, how do you know he's not going to do this to you? Huh? How do you know he's not going to do this to you? I still haven't got no answers. And you got all the proof thing. right here. I'm real quick. Sorry, okay. Okay, you got all the proof. I just one question. I appreciate sure I don't have when all the proof. This is enough. This is enough proof. This is enough. This is enough. Is enough. I don't know when y'all are sharing talking. a meal together and he calls, do you remember this day? Yeah. yeah. That was his sister, sister? Yeah. That wasn't his sister? <laughs> no, that was me, honey. That was me. Yeah. And the only time she was calling is your sister. Yeah. Hey, sister. Yeah, she'll switch. Mm -hmm. He's been lying to you and her. I'm not there. <laughs> that wasn't my sister, but that was my sister. That was me. I'm to both He admits that now. Now, who do you want to be with? What's the choice? No, let's have her. Because I'm done with you. You gonna let this guy? I'm done. I'm done. Were you worried about your baby? No. Rod, you got a three-month-old child with this girl? That's what that baby food was for? Did you tell her that? Do what now? Woo! Did they not? Bro. By who? By her? Nah, by me, bitch. You steady saying me. Oh, but, what? Because I ain't ugly, bro. I ain't too much. You ain't too far from my level, post. You better watch what you're saying. For real. Don't touch me. 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 Don't touch Let's load up, guys. You got what you wanted? I got what I wanted. Let's go. Load up. What about what I wanted, though? You got what you wanted. <laughs> it just ended tonight, though. Hey, come here. 
Yeah, yeah, see, y'all got 12 outside. Y'all got 12 outside, because y'all got hella cameras. Y'all got people Instagramming it. Yeah. Who's driving this car? Um, we're actually waiting on the driver. I just want to make sure, Shaylee, that we provided as much as we could. I apologize. The police showed up. I mean, I know that cut things short. Yeah. I mean, I got the answers I needed. That's what I needed. That got me closure. I just know I'm done. What's next for you in your future? I'm just moving on. Bigger and greater things. I'll find somebody soon, hopefully. <laughs> Not too soon. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think you want that. That's probably what got you into this is right in front of trying to hurry up and find something. Shaylise Ryan thoroughly distances herself from the suspect. Although Shaylise has plenty of potential suitors, she chooses to stay by herself for a while. Shaylise admits she occasionally runs into the suspect, but wastes no time talking to him. Temporarily losing both women, suspect Rod dedicates his energies to salvaging his relationship with his companion. When queried by cheaters... I mean... As bad as this may sound, he's really going to have to do that, whether he likes it or not. Not saying that they have to be companions together or whatever, but you have to get along with this other woman just for the sake of your child. So, you know, yeah, like, that's, there ain't no way really out of that one. But you do have to have a relationship with your child. And, you know, in order to see your child, if you want to spend time with him or her, you got to have a relationship with the mother. Ron, whether that's friendship or... I wish I could take it all back. Know? But I have a child now. I got to do right by that. Yeah. As for her part in the affair, companion Misty was quite forthright in her statements. Misty says to cheaters, I'm not too upset about the whole thing. He had a side piece. So what? At the end of the day, he still comes back to me and the baby. Wow. That's the end of that video, man. If you guys like this video, man, give it a fat thumbs Baseball up. Baseball is America's pastime. Hey, man, I didn't tell you to like, comment, share. Um, I hope you guys, you know, learn something from this video or really a lot of the videos that I do, especially ones like these, you know. But, um, yeah, man, Machiavelli Gang, we up out of here. I love you guys. You guys have a blessed one. Safe one. I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. Peace.